Hi everyone, welcome back to Periods Podcast. So this session is going to be the discussion about the book called Warren Buffett Way. So we all gather information from many resources and we get inclined towards a particular person and when we watch more of them, we follow their method. And in this book, they have mentioned four persons from whom Warren Buffett learned the ways of investing. They are Benjamin Graham, John Williams, Phil Fisher and Charlie Munger. So what is that one thing which we can learn from Warren Buffett method? I would say the biggest thing you can learn from Warren Buffett, I would say start early. Okay. If you're in your age, mm. biggest mistake people do and that mistake you can never fix. Okay. For all your viewers, your audience which are following you, mm. they're all young okay. at your age. Yeah. If I started at your age, today I would be Warren Buffett. Mm. Meaning, not Warren Buffett, but I'll have so much of money, I won't know what to do. Ambani is waiting to look like a joke. Mm. That's the kind of money I can have. Okay. The only reason I don't have it is, at your age, I didn't start. Can I say a point here? Usually, in our homes, we don't discuss about uh, finance and all. We get exposed to investment only after uh, we finish the schooling and... Uh, you know, when you get exposed to investment, when you have you get your first salary check, and you realize that salary is not enough, that's when suddenly mm. you think about investment and finance. Mm. Because you realize all that time you've been told, mm. don't worry. Save you, money, no, 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 mm. not save money. Study hard. Mm. You'll get to a good college. Yeah. You get into a good college, don't worry. You study hard, you'll get a good job. Mm. It will pay you lots of money. Mm. So you study, get into a good job, get into IIT, you get amazing placement and you're earning one lakh, one and a half mm. lakhs. Suddenly you realize even that is not enough. Mm. It happens. There are so many stories we have read where guys who are earning crores mm. find it not enough. So the problem we realize about finances when we reach to reach our first salary check, then we realize we must do something about mm. investment. We must do something. Very few are fortunate like you mm. who think about investing. I would say 90% of the remaining crowd will think of taking loan. Anyway, I'm getting one lakh salary, one lakh lakh salary. I'll pay. I'll leverage mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I'll take one crore loan. Mm-hmm. I can easily pay. Mm-hmm. I'll take it for 10 years, 15 years. No problem, Baba. So what? Anyhow, I'm going to earn the salary. I'll pay. People think like Yes, that. I need to spend the money now. Now I need. Mm-hmm. Not tomorrow. So that attitude is what creates a problem. So starting early, like you said, is important. Like you said also, education. Mm. about money that's mm. very important the sooner you start that education the better mm. so warren buffett was very lucky that he was born into a situation where this was very apparent to him in a young age mm. that money the way money works he started doing businesses from a very small age mm. from newspaper delivery i'm yeah. sure you've read about it collecting bottles and returning it for recycling any opportunity to make some money, mm. Warren Buffett as a kid was in there trying to see how to leverage it and make more money. He was thinking of innovative ways to make money. Mm. Then he realized the biggest way to make money is to own multiple companies. First, he tried Berkshire Hathaway itself. He was him trying to do business. He bought a failing company and he mm. thought he can turn it around. Mm. He realized after that fiasco. That isn't an investment company, no? No, now it's become an investment company. It wasn't an investment company. Mm. He wanted to take that business, turn that business around, then probably sell it for profit. He had all kinds of dreams of that business. Mm. None of that came. And he got hurt very badly in that. But what he learned from that is, instead of running one business, become owner in many business. Mm. Buy and sell shares and, you know, keep growing. Mm. And that is the kind of attitude which made him his first billion by the age of 50. And that's become into exponentially grown into what now, it is more now. More than $100 billion. Now at the age of 90 plus. So that important lesson was learned at a young age. And you are very fortunate to start reading these books mm. at this age. My question is to you would be, what are you doing with that information? Mm, that is what my question is. Because previously, before the internet era, mm-hmm. we get little information. And uh, that information, we think that it is enough to make our investments. But after internet penetration and exposing to YouTube videos and Instagram posts, so they say a lot of things and we think all is correct. No, the biggest problem I'll tell you what the internet is. Mm. One thing you're right, it has made information accessible. Mm. But the problem with the internet is, is the social media. Mm. 
Mm. There's two parts to internet. One is the internet, mm. which is just you accessing through Google and reading. Yeah. That's okay. But what's come with from internet is it's created something called social media, mm. which has robbed you of your attention. So you're watching one Warren Buffett book you see, mm. you want to read it. Then immediately you go to YouTube, mm. you'll click on it. Yeah. Some guy's done some short video about the book. Mm. We'll watch that and come back. You will never read the book. Mm. We think that we have read the book. Because you've seen enough videos about the book, mm. like even this video. Now that we have mentioned this in this video, mm. and we have spoken about the important lesson from this, they think that is all the book is. Mm. And it's not true. Yeah. So that is a problem with the internet. Yes, it has made information available for your generation. My generation did not have. Mm. And we did not have knowledge of this till much later in life. You guys are lucky that because of internet, you got mm. this knowledge. But the flip of it is, you guys have been spoiled because of this knowledge in the sense that the way the knowledge became so easy to get, mm. you think even making money is easy to do. That's what future and options is. Yeah. <laughs> because information is coming easy. Mm. With no effort, internet is free. Mm. I can get everything so fast. Why alone should I wait like Warren Buffett Tata? For 20 years. Yeah, till the age of 50, mm. make my first million. Then wait till the age of 80 to make 80 billion when I have future and options here today. Yes, mm. I'll make my first million mm. by next month and become a billion mm. by two years and become like bigger than Warren Buffett in 10 years. Mm. And I'll show Warren Buffett itself, mm. he's nobody. That attitude is what? Yeah. Social media has given you guys. And that is a problem even Warren Buffett cannot fix. Mm. One is starting early. But the important thing is, like you said, what is it that you want to do? Warren Buffett didn't ask you to immediately get, think the shortest, fastest way to make money. He just trying to tell you, make money with the lowest risk. Okay. Which maximum profit, but first it should have the lowest risk. Lowest risk doesn't mean you put it in NFT. Because immediately you guys will argue that. Saying, sir, then I'll just keep FT. Mm. You have to beat inflation. If you're not beating inflation, you're not investing. Yeah. So, there are a lot of people who argue about that and say, I'll just keep it as gold. But gold is not an investment. Mm. Gold holds value. But if you're looking at investment, is the long and short of it is, is to do like what Warren okay. does, which is to pick businesses mm. slowly. And uh, in the chapter, they have mentioned four persons from whom Warren Buffett uh, learned his investments. So they are uh, Benjamin Graham, John Williams, Charlie Munger and Phil Fisher. So can you tell uh, a unique point about them, which we can take away from each person? And who is John Williams? No, I'll tell you something. Um, to explain this to you. Mm. Why you don't need to go more than this? Mm. Because let's take Buddhism, for example. Mm. Buddhism first went to China. Mm. Then China had evolved, right, and became more streamlined. Mm. Then it went to Japan, mm. and Japan became more refined, and finally became Zen Buddhism. Mm. So, if you were studying Zen Buddhism, if you understood Zen Buddhism, you don't need to study Chinese Buddhism and then study Indian Buddhism. Okay. Saying Zen came from China, no, sir. I'll first study Chinese Buddhism also. Mm. And before that, it came from India, no? So I'll go to India and study Indian Buddhism. You don't need to. Mm. If you have understood what Zen Buddhism is, which is the purest form of what Buddha was trying to say, mm. you have understood that, then you have understood all of it. Okay. Same way, if you have understood what Warren Buffett is trying to say, mm. then you don't need to sit and spend time doing Benjamin Graham, Phil Fisher. Mm. You know, you don't need to sit do and do all that because simple reason is he's studied all of them and he's created and perfected a method. Yeah. So now, instead of studying, what you have to start doing is doing, mm. which is sitting and looking at companies, reading about company history. Mm. Instead of reading more Phil Fisher, reading more Benjamin Graham, mm. you read one book, mm. pick whomever you want. You read one up on Wall Street, very good, you've learned it. Mm. You read Warren Buffett's book, very good, you have learned it. You read Benjamin yeah. Graham's book, you have learned it. Mm. It doesn't matter where you learn, one plus one is two. <laughs> you know, you have learned You have learned one plus one is two. So you don't need to go on reading more and more maths book. Mm. But you are saying, sir, now what more books should I read? No, no. Mm. Arun, I am saying, you sit and read about companies. Mm. Warren Buffett doesn't sit and read books about 
investing. He is sitting and reading books and balance sheets about companies. Okay. He is sitting and reading news. So that is how you will also gain information, gain confidences by reading more about the companies you want to invest in, mm -hmm. more about the you know industry and shares and markets, mm -hmm. spending more time reading that and gathering that information. Then thinking, okay, Warren Buffett learned from Phil Fisher. Yeah. So let me also read Phil Fisher. Mm. Warren Buffett learned from Benjamin Graham. Let me also read Warren, uh, Benjamin Graham. Mm. Then you'll find out Benjamin Graham learned from some other guy. So what did he read his book? They'll go backwards. Mm. So then what? No, basically then what you're doing is you're just intellectualizing it. Mm. You don't want to do anything. My mother used to always tell me, if you read something, you should be able to practice it. Mm. If you're not able to practice it, don't read it. Okay. She says, you read the Bhagavad Gita, very good. Mm. Are you able to practice it? Mm. Whatever Krishna is saying, in there, then if you're not able to practice it, then there's no point reading it. Mm. You yes, understood? Sir. Yes, sir. So you're reading this book. Great. But what I would appreciate more is if you say, sir, I read this book and he talks about this. Mm. Then I saw this company. Yeah. You know, does this and this make sense? He's talking about this in this book. I see this company. Mm. Is he talking about this specific rule or phenomenon in this company. Okay. Do I, am I right in this? You understand? Yes, sir. Then I say, Arun, you're growing. Then just plainly reading and uh, yes. going so you, you You're scared to dive into the swimming pool. Mm -hmm. You've got all the gears. You've read all the books. Mm -hmm. You've seen all the videos. Some point of time, you have to get inside the water and start swimming. Okay. And the last question is, uh, we all know at least few investment methods to uh, make our investments better. So when it comes to market time, we tend to get biased to do us the news and, uh, and the application of the news uh, and the information and the book resources. We are caught in the dilemma between the trending news and the news which we have gathered. So how to overcome this? You should filter the news you read. Mm. There's 90% to 95% of the news you are reading mm. is of no use to you. Okay. If it rains in Mexico in a certain yes. village, Mm. Unless you are investing in some company which has a factory in that village, mm. you know, if you have nothing to do with that village in any shape or form in terms of investing or in your life, yeah, it's interesting news. Mm. But you, the more time you spend reading about that news, the more time you're wasting. Okay. You shouldn't be like a vacuum cleaner sitting and picking up everything around you. Um, then you'll be a garbage cleaner mm. only. Mm. You should be selective in your news reading. Mm. So you should, when you see the headlines or you see what the news is about, is it something I need. Mm. Yes, it's interesting news, it's important, it's nice. But is it going to add value to what I need? Mm. Because I'm losing time. Yeah. Time I cannot get back. Correct? Mm. I'm investing my time reading that news. Mm. So is that an investment of my time which I'm making wisely? Okay. If you don't do that, then you'll be reading everything. That's why you scroll through your news. Mm. You'll say, sir, today I'm a stock podcast. Open news. Economic Times. What Mint is Mint there? Mint. What is there? Mint. Ah, okay. Open. Mm, maybe this is interesting. Mm. Click on this. Oh, this, huh? Mm. Wait. I didn't know about it's this. Let me read though. more about this. Let me Google this. <laughs> huh? What, what is this? Huh? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I didn't know this. Mm. Then, then you call. Hey, yeah, Karthi, yeah. did you know this, man? Mm. Then you spend. Before you know it, two hours has gone by. Yeah. <laughs> then you realize there's something we can't talk about on the mm. channel. Because it's not something related to investment. Then I, okay, let me go back now to business <laughs> standard now. Mm. You're wasting time. Okay. And before you know it, hours add up to days, days add up to weeks, weeks have gone into months, mm. months has turned to years, mm. and now five years has gone by and you're still. Okay. So, somewhere along the line, you have to start filtering your news mm. and say, is this adding value to me? Mm. Is this news something which is going to make use to me? Mm. If it's not of use to you, don't read it. Don't sit and watch the video. Mm. Don't doom scroll. Mm. I can only say that. Okay. And if you're not able to control yourself, the best thing to do is uninstall the app. Go old school. Mm. That you have to sit on a computer. Mm. If you struggle doing this on your phone because you know Instagram is disrupting you, YouTube is disrupting you, yeah. you're scrolling too much, uninstall all that, mm. put it away, mm. okay, open old school, open laptop, mm. desktop, go to Google. yeah, Chrome <laughs> and type news, whatever news yeah, whatever news, you know, company news, any specific companies, you will have 
10 12 companies which i'm sure you are interested in mm. arun is interested in 10 12 companies yeah. enter one by those companies first name whatever itc news click on news mm. and see what is ittc news mm. is any of that interesting okay click on the first one read it you see that's the way you do not <laughs> this is you do then you won't be investing mm. you'll be wasting your time Okay. Yes. Sir. I think Arun should do his own patas list. <laughs> Arun's patas list. Yeah. We'll go through that. You pick some companies. We'll talk about Arun. Mm. Next few podcasts, we will pick Arun's favorite companies. Starting yeah. next podcast, Arun will come and we'll talk about Arun's first favorite company. Yeah, I'll take few companies. Maybe I'll take sector wise. You take any wise. Mm. I'm sure you have ten, twelve companies which you really like. More than me. you have. Yeah. Very good. Let's talk one by one. We'll do each company. We'll cover now. Okay. Till you finish all the companies which you like, mm. we will not stop. Then we will talk about something else. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm. So next video, Arun will bring his first we, company, his most com favorite company. Two companies per video. We'll no, we'll do one company. Yes. Immediately, don't try to dilute. <laughs> yes, See, sir. again, he wants to do fast. Mm. Hmm. Chalo. So next video, we talk about Arun's first favorite company. So I hope that this video was informative and they had some knowledge about how to gather resources and uh, apply it to your investment. So, and what Warren Buffett does. So if you found this video useful, please share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel for more videos. See you in another episode with an interesting topic. Thanks for watching the video.